You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hi everyone, I'm Susie Sa, and here are your top stories. A violent encounter caught on camera. An LA Department of Transportation bus driver attacked at a stop in South LA. Now, the LAPD says this happened yesterday afternoon near Central and Jefferson. We're told a woman tried to get on the LA DOT bus and got into an argument with the driver about paying, even though the service is free. The suspect was taken into custody. The driver examined at the scene and did not have to go to the hospital. No word on any charges. And tonight, an LA DOT spokesperson released a statement saying the safety of passengers and drivers on the transit services is of paramount importance to LA DOT. LA DOT is evaluating options to improve security, including strengthening existing barriers separating drivers and passengers. We are grateful that the driver is safe and no injuries were reported. Uh, this just in, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft launch has been canceled once again. A liftoff was supposed to be at 734 tonight. CBS News reporting a valve problem in the rocket's upper stage causing the delay. Now, it would have been Boeing's first flight to space with the crew on board. The mission was originally scheduled for 2015, but has faced many technical setbacks since. And tomorrow, the Riverside County Board of Supervisors will consider allocating nearly $800,000 in federal relief funds for fire cadet training. Now, if the board approves the motion, the county would team up with the Hemet Fire Department to expand its cadet program, offering up to 60 teenagers paid internship training. The goal is to encourage youth to pursue fire service related careers. Now, turning now to our weather, calm conditions on the first Monday of May. But what can we expect for the rest of your work week? Meteorologist Olga Spina with the details for us. We have a dry week ahead after a fast moving storm over the weekend that brought us a little bit of rain, a warming trend. We've started to feel it today. We'll continue to feel that through the weekend into the weekend periods of winds, especially for mountains and deserts, and it is going to be a nice weekend temperatures for inland spots in the 70s and even 80s. So here's a look at temperatures today, 70s, even some upper 70s out through parts of the IE and uh, Antelope Valley, Santa Clarita topping out at 75. We had some 60s and low 70s along the coastline. Winds still a part of our weather story. So especially as we head into Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday morning, we're going to see some really strong winds across places like the Antelope Valley that will be under a wind advisory Tuesday at 2 o'clock until Wednesday. But even right now, we have a wind advisory for northern Ventura County Mountains that continues through the early part of your Tuesday for gusts there nearing 50 miles per Per hour. All right, let's look at the weekend. It is just Monday, but already looking ahead to Saturday and Sunday, slightly above average temperatures, 75 for the LA OC metro area. And we are looking at uh, above average temperatures. The average high is 73. You will notice in future cast, we have this area of high pressure building in, keeping any storm to our north. Warm temperatures, again, 70s and 80s that will be the story for inland spots over the next few days. Here's a look at tomorrow, even close to 80 degrees for Santa Clarita, upper 70s for parts of the Inland Empire, mid 90s in Palm Springs and for the LAOC area, comfortable 70s, a mid to upper 70s Thursday, Friday into the weekend, slightly cooler as we head into Monday for the valleys. We will see a mix of upper 70s and low 80s. And as we head into the Inland Empire, also a similar mix with Wednesday already seeing the return of the 80s. Olga, thank you. Not all news is bad news, and that's why we are launching a new streaming show, Happy Hour. Alex Biston has our preview. Hi, I'm Alex Biston. A lot of uplifting news happened this week. Here's your daily dose of Happy Hour. You work here now, so you have to come in here and greet everybody, okay? Okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Oh, me little Azai, he loves Target and make sure to say hi to everybody. Azai's videos have gone viral on TikTok, so Target invited them to an unforgettable experience. He got to work at the store for a day and clearly took it very seriously. Azai and his mom also got a shopping spree, a special donation to schools in his name. 
Be sure to join us Friday nights at 630 for our streaming show Happy Hour. It is a weekly cocktail of positive and inspiring stories of the week guaranteed to bring you good vibes. To watch, download the CBS News app on any device or check us out on Pluto TV. This has been CBS News Los Angeles The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back live at KCAL News at 8 on CBS News Los Angeles.